it's the tools that God's given to you to build, to build the walls, building the walls, building the walls in the city. You know, the walls symbolize safety. They symbolize civilization. They symbolize life. You know, we need boundaries. We need barriers. We need things that will allow us to be safe so that we can live. And the sword represents the fact that you are bound. Sometimes we think that life is Disneyland, but it's really, you know, Afghanistan. We're in a battle. We're in spiritual warfare. And Satan is working through people. That's why Paul said in Ephesians 6, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. People aren't really your enemies. But against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness. That is, Satan and his demons are working through people who are just tools. They're instruments. They're walking in the flesh. And people are creating, you know, disorder in your life. They're creating friction. They're being mean to you. They're being uh, prejudicial. They're being discriminatory. Whatever the issues are, they're having an attitude with you. Satan works through people. And since we have a free will, sometimes people do things in darkness. They do evil things. So we need to recognize that as we're building and we're moving forward in life, you got to have a sword and a plow. You can't just be fighting people and fighting demons and fighting darkness and not be building. But you can't be building and be naive and think that you're not in a warfare because you are. There are things that are trying to destroy your families. That's why you got to be in prayer. That's why Jesus said in the Lord's Prayer, ask the Father, lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from the evil one. Because Jesus understood the evil one was trying to destroy us. And we need God's help. We need God's deliverance. We need God's strength to overcome.